In the COP interceptor kit, we have our main unit, a probe, a probe cord, and two different signal sensitivity pads. To start, plug the probe cord into the base of the probe and the top of the main unit. Normally, you will select the low sensitivity pad. In the case of a low signal output from a well shielded coil, you can use the high sensitivity pad to monitor the coil signals. Use the red button to turn the unit on. You will see a momentary display of the product inversion number. We are now ready to begin testing. The auto set must be run and can be found using the blue views button. Press and hold for one second to bring up the main menu selections. Use the red button to select auto set from the menu. Place the probe over the coil and press the blue views button again to begin auto set. Once auto set starts, do not move the probe. Once auto set is complete, the digits view will appear. You're ready to begin. To save data for display while in digits view, press the red save button and data will be stored for display in balance view. The cylinder number to be stored next will be displayed in the left upper corner. Once done saving data, press the blue views button to change the balance view. Here we can compare all saved cylinder data for analysis. KVs are displayed in the shaded bar and millisecond duration is displayed in the non-shaded bar. Comparing cylinders indicates millisecond duration on cylinder 2 is well below the other cylinders. Further diagnosis is required. Upon inspection, Removing cylinder 2 coil and spark plug shows there's a worn spark plug with too large of a gap. Because the KVs were within normal range and the duration was low, we concluded the coil itself was not the problem. Using the blue views button, toggle to trend view. Trend view displays data in real time. In this scenario, we can view the coils at idle with no load on the engine and with a load on the engine to try and duplicate the customer's concern. We place the vehicle in gear with our foot on the brake to load the engine. Under load, as the duration begins to shorten, we are able to see intermittent absence of a KV signal. This allows us to identify the coil on plug as the cause of the symptom. Viewing this same coil with an oscilloscope, we can see that it was internally shorting. When in digits view, a misfire will be displayed as a lightning bolt next to the KV display. In trend view, you will see a misfire counter in the upper left-hand corner of the display.